Welcome to the Pirate Handyman, where we teach you how to become self-sufficient and save coin for your treasure chest. If you dig what we're doing here, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you hit that ship's notification bell, you can join our crew and you'll be notified every time a new tip drops. So what we're going to talk about today is insulating an aluminum garage door. The aluminum is very, uh, very thin. And so it transfers the heat or transfers the cold, whichever is which. So it keeps your garage um, cooler and the rooms that are next to the garage or above the garage, it'll be tougher to heat or cool those. So here's a just an easy uh, tip to be able to insulate this. We just use foam. And <clears throat> this styrofoam you can get at uh, you know any of your box stores. And what you want to do first is measure and see what you're going to need. Now, if we measure here, you can see that this, you want to go to the inside edge. And this is about an inch and three quarters. So you want to try to get inch and three quarter thick. And then you're also going to measure from the inside there to the inside in here. And then the same thing, top to bottom, you want to go inside. Now, if you can't find the, uh, the exact thickness, this is the problem I had. I ended up being able to find uh, three-quarter inch thick, like this. So I just I measured it. It happened to come in uh, about 15 inch wide. And I took a... Uh, an X-Acto knife, you can use a box cutter, you can even use like a coping saw, something with a real thin blade. And you just measure and cut, and then to put it in, you just slide it in the long end, you gotta bend it a little bit, and you can get the smaller piece. And the snugger you get it in there, the more insulation it's going to provide. <clears throat> now, we're going to use our second piece here. Sometimes you're going to break one. Now it's in there and it's in there pretty snug. But what I like to do just to, to keep the, the foam in there is you can just get a little furring strip. Uh, this happened to be some type of molding that I had laying around. And you just cut it so it goes inside to inside. And just slide it in like this. And then it'll keep them nice and snug. Now, you should, if you have a garage door opener, you shouldn't have to make any adjustments because it's very light. But it is going to provide enough insulation that it's going to keep the... Uh, the temperature difference probably 10 to 15 degrees at, at the most extremes. So thanks for joining us on the Pirate Handyman. Like I said, if you dig what we're doing, hit that subscription button down below and join our crew. And if you hit that notification bell, that's the ship's notification bell, you'll be notified every time a new tip comes out. Thanks for joining us and smooth sailing.